All right, let's get into the basics of digital audio. It's not hard, but there are some areas in here that make you vulnerable to gear snipers and engineer snipers, guys that sit on user groups and have technical ascendancy over each other. So we got to learn a little bit so that that doesn't happen. Amplitude, this is basically the loudness of a sound. It's measured as SPL, sound pressure level, this is those little uh, devices that you see sitting on top of front of house mixers, guys that are mixing in clubs and stuff. And when the police come to shut them down, they, they show them the SPL meter. And if it's like under 110, they can stay, stay um, running. These are referred to as dBs or decibels. It uh, comes from Alexander Graham Bell. And so dBs are the lingua franca, the number of one louder for us in the music and audio field. The very softest sound that we can hear as humans has been determined to be a mosquito flying at three meters. That's if you're young and you've got a great set of ears. So this would represent the bottom of what is called amplitude, which will later be built into dynamic range. So it's well under 10 decibels, so it's very, very small sound. The loudest sound would be if you were standing three meters from a jet engine, which would be at 130 and then basically blow your, your mind off, clean your face. So we have these two areas. The range between the quietest and the loudest sound is dynamic range. So you've heard me talk about it a little bit already, but under 10 dB to uh, plus 130 is the dynamic range of triple pianissimo to triple fortissimo. Okay, so what does it mean for us? In the edit window of Pro Tools, it means that the tinier the waveform, the smaller the sound. So these sounds right in here are just basically an open mic cooking up rustling of clothing. And these are under 20 dB. They are close to the center line and the closer something is to the center line, the quieter it is. Conversely, the taller something is away from the center line, the louder. Now, don't get confused here because frequency, which is really high sounds versus really low, is length this way. This is a bass, a DI for a bass. They're long waves, and so they go that way. They're very long. They're high and loud, but they're long. Whereas high frequency material is very sharp and, and not long, it's very short. So we'll get to that as well. So these waves here are in excess of 85 decibels. And the dynamic range of digital audio, CD quality, 44.1, 16-bit audio, is 96 decibels. Areas like this that are just clipped, topped off, bricked, um, are known as digital clipping or distortion. So it's just, oh, you clipped the signal, or I've heard some guys say, you overmodulated, which is fancy for saying you turned it up too loud. All right, so accurately recording ultra soft to ultra loud in the digital realm is a function of bit depth, 16, 24, 32, but we first have to have a little discussion about frequency. So that's next. <laughs> 